Flex your Halicus Longus tendon transfer with DX button and tension slide technique. Make a 5 cm to 7 cm longitudinal incision through the midline of the Achilles tendon. Use fine scissors to make the incision deeper until the FHL tendon and its muscle belly are identified. Confirm by flexion and extension of the hallux. Retract the neovascular bundle and expose tendon. Then cut FHL as distal as possible. Place a traction stitch through the tendon using a number 2 fiber loop suture. Size the tendon through the tendinesis graft sizer. Based on the tendon diameter, open either the 6.25 mm or 7 mm FHL implant system. On the superior calcaneus, approximately 1 cm anterior to the Achilles insertion, drill the 3.2 mm spade tip drill pin by cortical aiming 1 cm anterior to exit the plantar surface in the midline of the calcaneus and centered medial to lateral. Note, fluoroscopy is recommended to ensure the 3.2 spade tip pin just breaches the plantar cortex. It is important to make sure the drill does not exit along the plantar posterior tuberosity. Plantar flex the foot and pull the traction stitch so the FHL is tensioned appropriately at the interface of the bone and drill pin. Use a marking pen and mark the entry point of the tendon. Determine the length of the tendon that will pass into the tunnel. This will be either 15 or 23 millimeter and make a second distal marking. Use an Alice clamp to secure the end of the tendon. Speed whip stitch with the fiber loop suture tape and lock the construct by making the final pass proximal to the previous pass and having the needle exit through distal tip of tendon. Use the reamer in the implant system. Drill either 20 or 30 millimeter based on screw length. Note, when reaming over the 3.2 millimeter spade tip pin, make sure the pin does not push through the plantar fascia and skin. Remove the spade tip drill pin. Irrigate to remove bone debris. Remove the traction stitch and any tendon past the second mark. Thread one suture limb from the tendon whip stitch through one side of the 12 mm DX button and back through the opposite side with a straight needle. Thread the other suture limb through in the same manner, starting on the opposite side as the first limb. Make sure the suture limbs are not tangled, pulling each limb to ensure the button slides freely. Hold tension on the suture limbs and insert the tip of the button inserter into the button. Hold tension on the sutures and insert the button through the calcaneus under fluoroscopy, ensuring it is deployed through both cortices. Pull lever back on the inserter handle to release the button. Note, leave button inserter in the hole when pulling tension back on button. Pull on the free ends to seat the button against the plantar calcaneal cortex. Confirm with fluoroscopy that the button is in appropriate position resting against cortical bone. Remove button inserter. Grasp each suture limb and slowly apply axial tension to dock the tendon into the bone tunnel. Once the tendon is fully seated, use the free needle and pass one suture limb through the tendon and tie three to four knots. Insert a 6.25 mm or 7 mm tenodesis screw for aperture fixation. The screw should sit flush with the cortex. Cut the excess suture and fixation is complete.